11 gold per turn for 30 turns, 111 gold straight up. He's going to give me some gypsum. Uh, and of course, he will properly seed the city so that it doesn't con consider it to be occupied by me. Um, yeah, absolutely. Of course, we're going to take this. We're going to use the money to build a ginormous empire and or army. And then we'll go and finish off Spain later on. Why not settle on the coast of the southwest? Well, that's actually a good idea, too. Um, I knew there was a barbarian encampment here, and I suspected there might have still been one. I think we will go here. Uh, we'll probably, when our next uh, civic comes in, we'll probably change to the um, cheap settler, the 30% or 50% boost to settlers, if we've got that. So I'm going to improve this quarry. It's going to be a lot of faith over here, too, which is quite nice. I can't believe you did not defeat that guy. That's very frustrating. Um, I think you're just going to rest here, and I think I'm actually going to get you to just rest here, too. For the heals, uh, and then you're going to bombard here. You've got a promotion waiting, but we're going to take the shot first. Then we'll probably promote after you attack. Yeah, there's something definitely good over here. You, yeah, go back to auto explore. That's fine. And we still have a scout. Oh yeah, the, the stuck scout over here. We're gonna have to wait until we can get the ability to embark. Don't forget the iron spot to the north. Yep, that's true. I was mostly going here because it was a convenient way to go without any threats. Um, so, I mean, we need districts here. We also need our monument finally. We need lots of things. I don't think I'm going to build another military unit. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this. So, we're not finding the other continent. I'm going to start building a settler, and then... Do we have... No, we don't have the pro-builder thing yet. When do we get the builder boost? What come? What is that? Is that early empire? Early empire we need, which is after foreign trade. So and we already have the boost there. So yeah, go there. Okay, so don't start building the settler yet. We're gonna wait until we've got the discount. I don't think I'm gonna build another builder here. Um, now campus. We need campus. Although the other spot's gonna have the crazy god campus soon. Um, I think I'm just gonna build a monument here actually. So one of the things, um, the uh, CQUI mod has incorporated properly the more lenses at this point, which is great, which includes the builder filter, which is really handy. So red tiles you can't improve. Um, uh, the purple tiles are the ones with a natural resource, and the green tiles are mountains, including mountains that have stuff on them. So I could go and chop the jungle and maybe build a mine there, which is actually kind of tempting. Uh, certainly I'm not going to move west with the builder. I think I'm going to go and do this quarry first, because we have huge boost to quarry, because, yeah, the faith production is now going well. I mean, we're still not going to get a religion, because we're not getting, um, great people points, but that's okay. Um, if I go and build a farm... No, it has to be a farm on a resource. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this. And then this. Yeah, 18 turns still for the campus, or for the um, uh, the encampment, but we will buy the camp build the campus there. I suppose I don't have to rush buy it. It's going to be okay. I'm tempted to buy this tile just to prevent Kyoto. No, no, because we're going to get this when the encampment finishes anyway. We would have gotten this when the encampment finished anyway. But this means I can go and build this quarry now. I don't know. I suppose I could have gone the other side. Yeah, I don't know. That might have been non-optimal. Let's see what we can see here. I think I'm going to prop this city right between these two bananas. I think that's a fine city site. I mean, there's lots of good ones. Uh, let's do a little swap there, because you can heal a little faster in the city. Uh, you are going to finish this guy off. You still need to uh, promote as well. Banana Splitsville. Ah! Funny. Damn you. Um, that scout... No, it wouldn't be able to catch me if I just start doing this. Good. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I do want to promote, which would fully heal me. This would also kill this guy first, though. Now, let's go ahead and promote, and then we'll just start being able to do more damage. That's going to be nice. i got to make sure to get um, all my units over here for this upgrade. The problem is, as far as I can tell, I can't tell which units 
have got the spear. There's no icon for it, which is a little bit frustrating. So one of my archers has already got it, but I don't know which. Probably the southern one, but I don't know for sure. I wonder why it's suggesting this is a city location. I mean, I guess this would get the horses. That's true. But I quite like this spot. Slightly stronger early growth. So not Warsaw, but instead you are going to be... Delian. Delian. Right over here. You will only steal one tile with the culture bomb effect. Not really? Culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing encampment or fort. Will it only do one tile? If that's true... Oh, this archer with the settler has the wonder upgrade. Thank you very much. If that's true, I should make sure to buy this tile first. Although, is it going to go and culture bomb the freaking mountain? All adjacent tiles. He's trolling you. Okay, thank you. All right. I'm like, that... that certainly not... Sometimes there are things in the, in the file, in the Civilopedia, that is far from clear. That could have been a thing. Uh, I think we're going to start with a monument right away. It's going to be fine. Um, foreign trade coming in. That's going to be okay. So, um, I'm just going to rest you at first. We're not going to keep you there. But it'll give you some rest. My people will settle where they please. You're not going to like me anyway, and I might settle here. And you might consider that to be a, um, a broken promise. That's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. I do need a trade route up and running sooner rather than later. Um, let's figure out if there's anything I'm specifically looking to aim for. I will have to unlock irrigation soon, but I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to get the boost to that. It's kind of annoying. I think what I'm going to do is do this. We might be able to use the catapult for a future attack. Although we've got enough range stuff as is. Maybe I'll pre-build iron working. I don't know when we're going to build an iron mine though. Um, anyway, just finish astrology. That's fine. Well, I have to kill you. You're almost healed up, and you're probably going to get a promotion soon. But you know what? I want to make you run to here. It's kind of out of the way, but it'll help in the future. So presumably this is the one with the upgrade. Um, although I could be sure by, you know, moving him over here or something like that. But I think I'm going to move him up to the capital. Or clear the southern encampment. Okay, so you don't appreciate the fact that I think I'm not producing enough culture or science or something. I think they're not enough culture. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. Trading is in place. We don't need God King anymore. Um, I don't think I need any of the military ones. So I think it's going to be plus one production. Um, I don't think we're building a builder, right? Well, we don't have a trade route yet anyway. Well, we do. you know what? We're going to take discipline. We are fighting a bunch of barbarians right now. We don't need it, but it's going to help. And more importantly, what we're going to do is we're going to sub it out for colonization in nine turns. There you go. You got speared up. Monument. Encampment. Hojo made peace with Gandhi. I didn't even know they were at war. That was quite painful. I need to make sure to damage the warrior primarily here. And then I'm going to put you in the city for maximum healing. You are going to improve the quarry here and give us even more faith. <laughs> Who that? Whoa! Okay, we got some more tips coming in. We got one from a Mighty Spud, a big one from Mighty Spud. Uh, this Saturday is going to be programming uh, on our live stream, as sponsored by Mighty Spud in particular. Very exciting about that. 
uh, late Christmas present for all the upcoming hard work. Very excited for Saturday's stream, as am I. I've been spending a lot of time practicing. Hopefully, we do a pretty good job of explaining some really interesting topics there. Uh, Red'll do. Oh, that's funny. Red'll do. Uh, thank you very much for the tip. Thanks for the. Uh, thanks for being awesome, man. Been a fan for years. I was wondering if you could look at and possibly play a game called Terratech. Thanks, man. Keep it awesome. I will look into that. And a big tip coming in from Accidental Aggro. He says, Quill, I practically live on your YouTube channel. Work gets in the way of my Twitch life. Thank you for the perfect balance of intellect and derp. <laughs> that should be my new tagline. A perfect balance of intellect and derp. Thanks from New York. Well, thank you very much, Accidental Aggro. Really appreciate that. You guys are being, like, really, really amazing today. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it very much. Uh, yeah. Do, do, do. I see a nice place for a Petra. You be quiet, you, Jim. Grr. Although, if it's not a very dry world, it's possible that there won't be a real race for the Petra. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right... Oh, we fulfilled our promise not to settle near uh, Hojo. Look at that. We were really swell. We don't have any sea resources yet, so I'm not worried about the, wheel, uh, the, the sailing. I'm just going to pick up the wheel. It might lead to the catapult. Like, we might need it or not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, trader. Uh, yes. I mean, I want to build Settler soon. We do need at least a trader. I think I will go and build it in Dry Meat Shield, and then it can go from here to somewhere else. Maybe, actually, it'll probably go to Carnifex because it'll have a district. And more districts equals more production from your trade routes. Uh, we're going to go and take that shot. That sounds swell. Um, and you can't actually kill him. Well, I'm going to go and kill you because otherwise you'll just be annoying. Um, and, yeah, you'll be going there, but nothing this turn. You have improved that. I think what we're going to do, actually, is we probably are going to chop these forests and then build mines. You only have one build left. I could just build a farm right here, which might not be a bad one. Uh, there are some resources to improve over here, but there's a million building barbarians. I can't do the Benerners yet. It's because I don't have irrigation, and I don't have it because I haven't built a farm on a resource, which is how you get the boost to irrigation. And it sort of frustrates me not to get the boost, but we actually, we have literally nothing. We have nothing that we could mine, or farm, that would give us the boost to irrigation. I think we might just research it and get the Benerners soon, but not yet. You know what I think I am going to do? I think I'm just going to go over here and chop the woods, give a production boost to dry meat shield, so we get a trade route up sooner. I think I'm going to be okay with that. We could also buy a trade route. There's actually quite a few things we could do with gold here. I'm wondering about buying another unit over here. I'm not going to buy another archer, but maybe a second spearman? Oh, we're just short. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to have to happen. We got barbari Barbarian-itis. Quill tax man. It was preemptive defense is what that was. They're coming right for me. You can't deny it. Uh, go ahead and rest. And rest. And rest. And I guess you'll just rest here. That's going to be fine. That's coming along. It would be nice to drop some cities down there. We'll see what we can do. So in four turns, we're going to swap to the Settler Boost. We're going to start, as soon as the Bates finishes this monument, we will start a Settler there for sure. And then we'll see what else is happening. Tumsa, thanks for the tip. Mr. Civ streams, but glad to hear you had a nice vacation slash holiday time. P.S. Petra! That is a nice potential spot for Petras if we do settle down there. We'll get some currency up early. We might not get competition for it. We might just try. It's not going to be a Petra rush, right? The problem I have is when you're like, your capital has desert, and we're like, we're in a Petra rush. And then you fail to get the Petra. Even if you get the Petra, you still only have one or two cities. We're better off than that. And then Aelfine sent in the tip that says, do you even Petra, bro? It's like you guys like losing. Just because you like cool wonders. Terja, hey! Uh, you do remember that spearmen have penalties against normal du melee dudes, right? I usually remember. I usually remember. I remember when I'm attacking. Or, when I'm attacking a spearman, I, I tend to remember the boost. Um, because you do that with barbarians. I don't always remember when I'm the one with the spearman. 
Hey, pyramids. Okay, we're not going to do that. I think I said I was going to... Oh, I was going to buy a spearmint over here. Yes, which I'm going to do. Just to get that going a little sooner. Um, I don't need ancient walls over here. We are going to get a campus going. Um, no, we were going to start a settler. Boop. That's what we're going to do. I still need the uh, the campuses and all that, but we'll wait a wee bit more. Um, and we are going to scooch our way up to the barbarians over here. And yeah, you're just going to go and chop this, giving us a whole bunch of production. Finishing the trade route. Excellent. And... If we had money, buying an encamp buying this tile and building an encampment there would help against Spain, but I don't actually think we're going to have to defend against Spain, if I'm being perfectly kind of honest slash cocky. Um, I'm going to start a settler here. And this trade route... I actually want to go all the way to Carnifex to get the road going. Um, I think I can do that safely without causing me any problems with the Barbarians. Because I think we're going to have to resolve that. We got a boost towards currency. Hey, there's the Petra coming along, guys. Alright, I got the Nouts. Probably because I occupy one of their cities. Yep, alright. Fair enough. Oh my god, you got Horsemen too. Wait, I think I remember seeing that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by bopping him and clearing him out, despite the combat penalty. Well, actually, we're not going to clear him out, but do most of it there. Um, over here, we're going to move to here, and... Kill a scout. Also, you can be promoted. And you're going to move up to here. You are feel fully healed up, which is nice. I think... Well, I'm worried about Spain coming in for a second round. We're just going to move you here for now. If they start pillaging my improvements, it's not the end of the world. It's when they pillage your uh, districts, it sucks. Okay, we are going to... Oh, I might actually keep discipline. You know what? I think I have to. But I definitely want to get uh, colonization. Just work my way up to political philosophy here. I think I have to attack him rather than clearing the camp. Because if he attacks my archer... Well, he probably he won't kill the archer. No, this will be fine. We'll just do this. Make sure nothing else spawns. Okay. You're saying my troops are too close. You're going to pay me for open borders. Sure, bro. Thanks, friend. This Japan's cool. He's an awesome little dude. Alright, slight attack there, but we're okay, which is nice. Um, we are going to bombard you, and then hopefully finish you off. Indeed. Good. Trade out is still currently fine, which is nice to see. Um, I'm going to kill you with the archer, because it's not going to damage my archer. I could just heal here, but I think what I'm going to do is actually move to make sure to pin this slinger a little bit better. Um, and I guess this archer is going to move up to here. Well, I don't think I'll need the archer up here anymore, actually. Well, it depends on how much stuff is being spawned here. The man who has grit enough to bring about the aforestate. All right. Oh, it's not currency. It's what? Mathematics, right? That gets you the Petra, but you need currency first? Yeah. Well, you know, I have the boost to it already. Shoot you. And... I guess finish you off this way, that's fine. And then you can just rest within the borders, which is always nice. And you're hurt enough that it's going to be worth us moving you into the city to heal for maximum speed. Spain's got a galley out there. That's okay. Can't believe we still don't have, um... Actually, we're only half behind on science rates, and we're ahead of Spain, so that's not too bad. And our military size is actually pretty decent, too. 
I'm surprised, considering, again, this is deity. Although, if we don't get a campus up and running soon, it's going to be very miserable, especially if we don't start getting some great scientists. Oh, that's empty. Interesting. There's nothing over here. Uh, we may as well promote you while there's some downtime. There you go. Bonus versus melee units. It's going to help offset some things. You are just going to fortify until healed. Mutual open border. Of course, Gandhi! We're going to be good friends. Until until uranium is discovered, then things may change. Alright. And a goodie hut! Hey! Always nice to find one at this point. Spain! I gotta say, your placement of cities is fantastic. Usually I complain a lot. That is a perfectly good placement of a city. I really have to thank you for your efforts. Um, in, in getting me some nice territory. You are a sweetheart. Look, look how nice Spain is. God. Philip's just a bro. Alright, that's settler number one. I still have the policy. We are going to be able to change our policy in three turns. Um, I'm not going to build another settler. Uh, we do need some more builders. Um, do we need another military unit? I don't think so. This might be the time to finally build a campus. But no, I think we're going to do one more builder and then... Um, and maybe set up the campus. Actually, what I should do before we get any more techs and the price goes up, um, we don't have anywhere good for campus. Let's let's take a moment and consider this. What about holy site? We're not going to go on the stone. We're going to have to remove some forests. Well, I think we'll we'll just end up putting a district here and another one over here for adjacency bonuses, and that's going to be about it. We could chop these forests though, so maybe I won't pre-put it down. Yeah. Oh, no, we'll figure something out. Anyway, you sit over here and chill, Mr. Archer. Um, you, we're going to want to go north. Now, the problem is that there's no fresh water here at all. And there's no good way to build a aqueduct. Well, that's not true, actually. If we were to settle right here, for example, we could build an aqueduct along this river. And then we get the fresh water in the city. Meanwhile, we get the iron, more stone, marble, deer, copper. Um, eventually, even the sheep here would fall within our borders. I think that's the way to go. If we want to get the uh, the iron, I think we settle here. And this will still allow me to settle on the coast somewhere. You know, maybe here or over here or something. Faith, all right. We do need to get our archers over here, though. And dry meat shield might be in a little bit of risk, but not really. Now, I still can't build walls, right? That's a thing. Yeah, that, that is not in the game, and I think that's fair. Okay, I got a million pop-ups open. Uh, I can get rid of discipline, which is good. Uh, we could put in conscription. How much am I paying for my military units right now? Five, um, and almost certainly it's one each. So this, I mean, this should save me five gold if I get conscription. I'm not building military units, no. I do want builders, though, so I'm actually thinking of putting down Ilkum. Okay, well, I don't need colonization. So, for my economic policies, this. Um, so, I could go for urban planning, but no, I think conscription is the way to go. We do need... Oh, I, I do want the government, but I actually do need to unlock the thing to start getting uh, great scientist points. So, you have finally finished this. Yes, and we did steal that tile. Amazingly cool. Um, I guess if we've got this, I should probably follow this up with Ancient Walls right away. Because while Japan's being a bro now, they may not always be a bro, and the Ancient Walls will definitely help defend this location pretty dramatically. On the other hand, spend gold, build campus. I need a population of 4 or greater, which is going to happen in 12 turns. Ancient Wall takes 15 turns. I think we build Ancient Walls, then we go and build a campus over here. Think about banning the Great Prophet? Um, we'll take a look. Yeah, there's there's no chance. There's no chance. We can't buy anything. I love this screen, by the way. On, and this is one of the mod things. Um, so, oh, we can name you! Hey, hey! You are gonna be... 
Trump. Anxiety Girl. There we are. Anxiety Girl. I think that's our only level 2 unit. Um, I don't feel like I need more than one Spearman here. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to go and bring the Spearman, say, down to here to help guard Dry Meat Shield. Because one should be plenty. Much like with eggs, one is enough. Um, I, while I do want this guy at the front, ultimately, I'm going to move him a little closer to this um, settler, just in case. You're truly prepared to kill subscribers. Yes, they have names now. Yeah, I still think that's fine. A third archer here would be very nice. Whoa, too many things at once! We've met, we found a wonder. We also met, um... Is this Saladin? Saladin, it is. It's an honor to meet you. I'd love to sample your hospitality. And the Torres del Pan doubles the yield of all adjacent tiles. Oh my god, that's not going to be healthy for us. Yeah, your science is really starting to skyrocket here. Ours is outpacing Spain, but that means nothing. Uh, oh, hello. And you've already moved. Um, that might be a little bit awkward if you decide to actually steal my dude. Because we can kill you, but we can't recap you. Okay, no, we're fine. So yes, I want to settle right here. And no, you're not going to be woods or buds or whatever you're actually called. You are going to be... You are going to be Green Yi. Well, it is actually awfully green over here, which is quite nice. We just got a tip in. Who that? Tumsa! Another one! Uh, you have open borders with India. P please free that poor scout that got stuck. Um, yeah, he's wandering on his own. He's on auto explore, so... He, he wandered out. But yeah, I could have maybe even looked into doing it manually earlier. Uh, we're going to go for an early monument over here, just to push out those borders. That's going to be fine. So this archer, I'm definitely going to go and just bring down in some fashion over here. Don't know where he'll be. Because we've got you, so we're just going to be two archers over here. Which will be a little slow, but it will manage to take it eventually. Two archers will eventually burn down the city. Oh, you have a promotion available. Um, it looks to me like there's a lot of jungle and forest over here, so we're going to go with the ranger promotion. Uh, what's my government again? Right, Ilkum, yeah, we need more builders. At least we're getting that boost. We still never did go and feed everyone there. Uh, we're going to ignore your request again. Oh, we just entered the classical era! Which means, I believe, we would actually get Warmonger here. Um, but there has been a mutual denouncing. Well, he denounced me, so we can go a light Warmonger penalty if we so desire. We are going to get an iron mine hopefully soon. That'll be the priority with this builder, actually. So I'm going to start working on iron working. Uh, you can go back to auto-exploring. So I think I'm going to declare war, though. Zaragoza is a, a swell little city. So we're going to go ahead and declare. Oh yeah, the southern spearman could go and visit the mountain easily. That's absolutely true. Yeah, he's not going to be happy. Gandhi doesn't declare war on anyone if it would give him a warmonger penalty, which now he might be able to. Um, this archer, I think, is the one that's already got it, which is at least nice. So you just keep working your way down to the south, and we'll figure out what's going to happen once you get there. Um, you are going to... Finish that guy off. Lovely. Go, go, Polish Rangers! I love it. 